you get out of college, you have your BA. Where, what's your first job out of college? So here's the thing. I've actually been working since I was about like four, 15 years old, I think it was. My very first job was at McDonald's. Um, and I, I, I loved it. Like I used to work there with my best friends. It was like our thing to do outside the house. So while I was at Howard, um, I think it's really important that I share this too. I think a lot of times, especially in the school of business, you know, there's a certain type of roadmap that you go through. And, and I wasn't on that roadmap at all. Like I was the person trying to network with other students. I wanted to know what was going on in the arts. I wanted to know what was going on in the biology um, and across the campus. And I think that also pledging helped me do that as well, where I was able to meet a lot of different students. And there you were also like expected to get a lot of internships and I didn't have any of those things. So again, like I really want people to see that even if your path is not what the traditional path is, you can still be a road of success. And I didn't have any internships because I had to work. I had to work every summer. And then the summers when I wasn't working, I had to go to summer school because I was actually a semester behind most people. And once I graduated in accounting, I went to a top five accounting um, firm, which was Price Waterhouse Coopers, and at that time they were like part of the Big Four, and it was very, um, it was like a big deal to be part of their organization. And but I, I kind of walked in already knowing that I wasn't going to be there too long, because even though I majored in accounting and I was doing auditing and compliance, I knew that wasn't the end goal, and I wanted something that will allow me to be a bit more creative and allow me to be able to work with other people. So. That was my first professional job was at Pricewaterhouse. Can we stop there for a second? Because I think that this is a teaching moment and I think it's a learning moment for anybody who currently finds themselves in a similar position. Mm -hmm. You go to school, you get your degree in accounting. That's what's expected of you. Yeah. To be an accountant, to come and, and I'm sure when you came out, you got your job at Price Waterhouse Coopers. You know, your family is, hey, as an A is doing her thing. She got to get out it, yep. <laughs> <laughs> but as you know, there's somebody somewhere right now who is doing something that they know in their heart, in their soul, in their spirit, this just isn't my life's purpose. Even though I might have gone to undergrad, grad, for all I know, they got a PhD. Mm -hmm. it, it, but they know I, I'm just not supposed to be doing this and it doesn't feel right, but it's expected of me. Yeah. I studied for it. I have a job incomes coming in. Can you speak to somebody just about the mindset? Yeah. Going with your life's purpose and not just relying on what it was that you studied for and what it was you were taught, because I do believe that you are going to be successful wherever you find your life's purpose. And it might not be necessarily the thing you studied for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I 100% agree with that. I think that what's important is that you, you do different things and get experiences to try to identify what your purpose is, right? Because sometimes, let's say like, if you are maybe a younger adult or you're just new in school, you may not even know what your purpose is. Like you may be trying to still discover yourself. And I had a lot of discovery while I was at Howard as well. But what I wanted to make sure that I did is, so, so understand this, I went to that company knowing I wouldn't be there long, but I still went because I knew that I was going to create a certain foundation that will help elevate me for my next opportunity to come. And that's what it did. And then while I was there, I was very strategic again about like how I placed myself, what learnings what I, was I getting, what mentors were I, was I creating relationships with so that they can also help me navigate because I knew that I was going to be in corporate, but I'm like, how do I use this accounting degree to be something a bit more creative that is a bit more purposeful for me or a little bit more entertaining for me that I wanted to do. So I didn't want to just take the degree and be like, okay, done with it because you, you, you gained something from whatever experience or education you have. So really my advice to people is 
you take the experience for what it is and you continue to be strategic. Don't just say, oh, I don't like it. I'm just showing up to get a paycheck. You don't want that, right? Because there is going to be something you can pull from that experience or that project you're working on or that manager you have or that client you have, the coworker. There's something you can pull from them. And that's what I did. I used to just figure out, okay, I'm going to get this work done and the work is going to be done, but what else can I get? How else can I use them to order to fulfill my purpose? And that's what I did. And really what happened is then that opened up the door to my next. And Mm -hmm. my next was at MTV, you know, where I spent majority of my career um, at there. And how I got there is because I was very honest in the fact that I wanted something different, but very strategic as well. Talking to different people, understanding where they were, talking to other people that had accounting degrees too and similar and saying like, okay, what are you, what are you seeing? Where are you? And then someone said something so simple. They were like, oh, well, you know, every business needs um, some type of accountant. And I'm like, wait, you're right. I mean, it's like, duh, right? Like, why wouldn't I know that? Like, why would it? But your brain, you're so caught up in like figuring out, again, going back, I'm going to keep saying it, what's your next power move? That you're not thinking about the basic. And the basic is any business, entrepreneur, special project, startup, whatever, needs someone with a business background and business foundation. So figure out what is your leg in in that. And then I think from there, it opened up my eyes to different industries and different companies that I can work for. Because to be honest, prior to that, I just kept thinking, I have to work at a bank. I have to work in Wall Street. I have to work in financial services. I have to work in as a consultant. I wasn't even thinking about media, entertainment, fashion, retail, music, none of those things even came my way until I started being a little bit more vulnerable and letting mm-hmm. people in and then getting their advice on it. Great advice. And, 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 you know, it's something that people can learn from because so often we put our own self in a box. We, we think very narrowly, you know, very unilateral. Yeah. And we don't open our ideas up to the fact that my skill set it doesn't necessarily have to be used just in one area. I can apply it to anywhere else in the world and excel. So I think that it's great that you brought that point up. You get over to MTV. What was your your job title there? So, so I was there for 11 and a half years. So it changed plenty of times. So initially I was hired in an audit, auditing compliance capacity because of my background. Mm-hmm. They were looking specifically for someone that was coming from an accounting firm, funny enough, or that had like a CPA, but I, I didn't do all of that. Um, so I came in as a, I think it was a senior associate of, of auditing compliance, production compliance. Um, and then while I was there, So what we were really doing was auditing some of our favorite TV shows from back then. If anyone remembers Pimp My Ride, that was actually with Exhibit. That was actually the first show that I worked on. And really, we were tasked to improving our business processes when it came from a business perspective. Because I think MTV started in like 1982 or 80-something. So it was really all about production and creative. So they were lacking some of the business foundations. And that's what we were doing. We were trying to create some of those business things. And then with that, um, I transitioned into do more project management work and then um, business strategy and change management, which was navigating through different changes in the organization. And then lastly, di- more diversity and inclusion, people oriented work. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.